so namaste guys so first first of all i want i would like to introduce myself i am pawan kumar shukla and uh, i have done my btech in 2018 and since then i am preparing for upsc but in my school days and in my college days i have given many nda examination and cds examination and i have cleared all of them and uh, from last 3 years since preparing for the upsc i have gone through many processes and know how to <clears throat> give a particular focus on the newspaper reading especially i when i see certain videos on the youtube uh, regarding the explanation of the the hindu or the any news uh, any other newspaper what they simply do is to uh, just explain whatever written in the newspaper but they don't connect the the newspaper with the the current part with the static part so what uh, i will do is to make you learn that how to connect these uh, new news and how to differentiate between news and topics that we have to cover in the for the examination point of view so just always remember that uh, current affair is like a salt and your core static part is your full course meal so namak jo hai utna hi dale jitna swad anusar ho zyada namak ho jayega to jo hai wo nuksan karega jaise for example we have a news paper of november 19 2021 on a, on a friday date so first news we can see that bankers must support job creators says modi so instead of reading what is written in the article what we have to know is that the role of banks in fun- as a function as a functioning in the money multiplier how the banks create money money out of the uh, out of the deposit that they have received uh, from the common public and the role of investment and how investment leads to the uh, leads to the <clears throat> increase in the employment and how employment will ultimately lead to the uh, economic growth so we have to understand this vicious cycle instead of reading this article and coming on to the next part the magisterial probe into the the second article is about magisterial magisterial probe the family members of three person that were killed so we have not to study the article that is mentioned in the newspaper itself but what we have to know that article 21 the right to life and personal liberty and article 22 the <clears throat> which gives you right against the preventive detention and the arrest the unwarranted arrest and the preventive detention which article 20 talks about which is uh, uh, which makes the part 3 of the fundamental fundamental rights of the constitution so we you have to study that thing not the uh, not the article that is given in the newspaper itself and <clears throat> coming on to the next article next article was about the wto rules so instead of wto rules what uh, what is given in this newspaper uh what you have to study is the agreement on agriculture go through uh, your static part static notes and revise the agreement on agriculture and especially the india's merchandise export scheme that uh, they have uh, i think they have introduced in back two or three years back but <clears throat> since it was violating the wto rules so in january 2021 they have introduced a new new scheme uh, which is known as road tap scheme so you have to study that road tap scheme and the uh, the agreement on agriculture instead of the what is given in this article and along with the road tap scheme another scheme was was launched for garment exporters the rebate of state and central levies and taxes that is rosctl that scheme was notified separately only for the garment exporters so <clears throat> the next news uh next news was on the uh, page number 2 regarding the pollution in the yamuna river like you see uh you see on the screen uh what delhi government has pledged to clean yamuna by 2025 so this is a political news but uh what is important for upsc point of view is to learn what is river pollution <clears throat> what are its reason why the yamuna river which is uh which was once not not once but today also it is being prayed uh, by the hindu community especially and why it is being polluted so much uh, its reason and its negative impact on the environment as well as human health economy as well uh, it it is a case study in all together and it will be very useful if you gather all the points related to the <clears throat> related to the yamuna and uh, not only yamuna but the river pollution and it will help you to understand how river helps in the creating economy because uh if you study history you will notice that 
all the civilization major civilization like in the sali civilization and the egyptian civilization or even the uh, greek civilization the mesopotamian civilization the uh, chinese civilization all were flourished on the banks of river so river are very important in not only the not only for the civilization point of view but sustaining your economy and uh, <clears throat> the uh, rivers are also uh, help helpful in creating the the especially the alluvial oil that we see in the northern plains of india to and making them fertile and they are also important for the for, uh, fer- uh, improve the fertility of the soil and these fer- this fertility will in order uh, <clears throat> in order to support the population that is thriving uh, near the near the rivers so you have to uh, useful uh, the point you gather will be useful useful not only for the means but also for the interview point of view so coming on to the next news uh, page number 3 there was no news regarding uh, upsc upsc point of view page number 4 5 also there was no news page number 6 7 uh we will cover uh, cover it separately the persons who are in news today and especially the persons who have a birthday birthday today so coming on to the page number 8 that is editorial so it is given a stimulating alliance sustained engagement with the state and easing their fiscal worries will revive up the economy so what you have to study in this uh, regarding this editorial or regarding this article is the center state relation the go through the uh, especially it is written it is given very in a good for, good way in the in your lakshmi kant if you study lakshmi kant you will gather a certain point that uh, when it comes to the sharing of the power with states the three kinds of power are being shared that is administrative power like uh, not administrative executive power uh legislative power and financial powers so financial powers and especially the uh, article 275 the statutory grants and article 280 the finance commission which recommend the share of the revenues that was collected by the center with the states so you you have to study that part in the uh, in the stimulating alliance so uh so basically is the fiscal relation between center and states this uh, this article is pointing out so the second uh, the second editorial was the heavy lifting on the climate action must begin so there are certain points given in the you can read the editorial also but what is important regarding the editorial is the you have to read about from your static part is the rio or summit that uh, that was organized in 1992 1992 also known as earth summit in which five major convention that came out like united nation framework convention on climate change and under this uh, unf f triple c uh, we have seen kyoto protocol and uh, paris agreement the very important one and other un ccd united nation convention to combat desertification cbd the convention on biological diversity under which we have seen cartagena protocol nagoya protocol the ic targets and agenda 21 the uh, agenda of the 21st century that what world powers are need to do and most importantly the global environment facility all these were established in the 1992 so you have to study Uh, from your static part these things and along with you can also read the editorial it is uh, given but major part is your static part so that's all from page number 8 uh, there is a uh, article agreeing to disagree the us china will have to even hand it this is a news in transition uh, it is not so important but if you want to read you can but not more important for the examination point of view and from page number 10 from page number 10 we have uh, nothing much important for the examination point of view uh, all the news are being carried forward just from page number 1 and if on page number 11 on page number 11 we have some important news like india need 10 trillion dollar to meet the net zero this is a very important article because uh, if you see uh, in the per capita carbon emissions india is way way behind the developing developed nation especially the european ones especially the western european powers and the your north northern american but <clears throat> since they uh, they have gone through the industrialization process much earlier than india was and now they are on the developed stage and now uh, they are focusing more on the green energy but india on a developing phase need to industrialize its its economy more and uh, 
we, we have seen that in the glasgow summit india has given the target of 2070 for the net zero emission to achieve its net zero emission target so it can be that that how the green energy sources green energy sources can uh, act in the favor of the achieving the net zero target and especially the <clears throat> what uh, what other countries target are especially the china has given the target of target of 2060 for achieving the net zero and many european powers uh, many european powers as well as the uh, new zealand or i don't think usa has given some target but uh, many european powers and new zealand or australia has given the target of, uh, of achieving net zero or the carbon neutrality by 2050 and some states have also implemented the laws as well so you have to study the uh, role of law what will be the role of law in implementing the net zero emission especially uh, two countries came in mind when we, we see the carbon neutrality or the uh, even bhutan have achieved the carbon uh, not only carbon neutrality but carbon negative country not only not only sucks its own carbon but also from the neighboring powers so coming on to the next news was no consensus of limiting speakers power so this is totally political political news if you go through the article but you have you don't need to go through the article what you have to see is to read about the speaker and pro tem speaker and their powers it is given in lakshmikanth you can refer lakshmikanth and uh, <clears throat> what you have to study in lakshmikanth is, is power of a speaker uh, especially in the terms of deciding on the money bill and the pro tem speaker and their their appointment their election and their removal all you have to study from the Lakshmikanth. So coming on to the page 12. Page 12, you have seen that ramp up production of vaccine ingredient. One of our minister has said, not, prime, not minister, but prime minister has said. So what are important that the active role of active pharmaceutical in, ingredient and the recently launched the supply chain resilient initiative by three member countries, especially the uh, they are part of the quad also like japan india and australia so you have to study in that function you have to study the supply chain resilient initiative what is that and what is api and why india is still dependent on china for major product major import of the apis so there was another case uh, regarding not not case but a controversy on the veer das stand-up com stand comedy so you have to study the article 19 how it, it violates the article 19 the freedom of speech and the reasonable restriction that has been provided in the <clears throat> constitution itself so basically we have gone through uh, seen article 19 article 21 article 22 <clears throat> with respect to today's newspaper <clears throat> so uh, there is another news a quiet ordinances on ed cbi chiefs tenure so central government has recently brought uh, ordinances to increase the increase the terms of the ed chief ed and cbi chief so some congressmen are saying to quash the ordinances but uh, what is important that you have to study the ordinance making power of president as well as the governor the ordinance making power of the uh, president is given in article 123 and its limitation and uh, especially through ordinances you can do anything except the constitutional amendment you cannot do constitutional amendment through the uh, article 123 and uh, the same power has been provided to the governor under article 213 to make any uh, to bypass the legislature legislature so coming on to the next page page number on page number 13 word it is important especially for the international relation point of view and uh, possible sanctions that are heading over the india over the purchase of the recently purchase of the recent s s 400 so you, you can see that how uh, india can become a exception and india can get a waiver from the us katsa act so you have to study that and also the uh, the other air defense system that usa was offering to india like third and patriot so that you can see and uh, with respect to asian and myanmar junta uh, it was asked it was given in uh, the article is given so what you have to study is the map location of the ASEAN and how many members are there in the ASEAN 
and uh, the location of Myanmar and which river flows through Myanmar, especially the Mekong River and the Mekong Ganga Initiative that was brought uh, recently, uh, two, three years back. And the Mekong River, you know, uh, flows from, started from China and flows through all the five Southeast Asian neighbors that India has. And, uh, uh, but in the Mekong Ganga Initiative, China is not the part of that initiative. So you, you have to study that thing. And Nigeria is also mentioned in this, uh, in another article. So you have to look at the location where Nigeria is on the map and especially a green wall initiative that uh, was launched by African Union in the Sahel region. And uh, uh, coming on to the next news, we have you, we, we can see that Russia test another hypersonic cruise missile. Uh, its name is Zircon. So you have to study what hypersonic, what is supersonic and what is subsonic missile, the range, it, its ranges. And uh, uh, in January 2020, the Russia had announced that it has, uh, it has launched another hypersonic, hypersonic missile system known as Avangard and it's so-called estimated, estimated uh, speed was around 20 to 27 Mach and it's the speed of zircon is not mentioned in the article, but uh, it is, uh, it is obvious that if it is hypersonic, the speed must be more than five Mach. So you have to study this zircon hypersonic cruise missile test by Russia. It can be <clears throat> an important addition to the, um, to the already enhanced power of the Russian empire or the Russian Federation.